year later, on the same day, around the same time, I'm going to take the same tour of downtown Ottawa to see what has changed. So we're going to get on the double-decker bus again. And I hope we can get a seat up front at the top so we can have a good view. I hope she doesn't take the seats that I want. Uh, no, she's not. That's good. Okay. So gonna get my seat here. We're at Herdman Station, and now we're heading off down the Queen's Way, uh, the Transit Way. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful day today. Sunny, not many clouds. Here is uh, construction for the light rail train that, that they've been doing at Herdman Station. Uh, they'll be shutting down the Transit Way uh, in a little over a month. The Ottawa River, very beautiful uh, today. We're coming into Lee's Station. So, like I was saying, yeah, they're going to be shutting shutting down the transit way at the end of June, around the end of June, so they can rip it up and uh, prepare it for the, the light rail tracks for the train. So, um, I don't know where the buses are going to be redirected. It's going to be. Um, Quite a mess, and quite, uh, I think, quite a lot of delays for uh, bus takers, bus users, so it should be lots of fun. There's the University of Ottawa, they have the cranes up there, I don't know what they're building. Um, I think there's a third crane further that's the eastern section of the University of Ottawa, so it looks like it's going to be a, not a tall building, but a, but a long building, since there's a, that many cranes, unless they're building several tall buildings. We'll see. We'll see. So we're coming into campus station of the University of Ottawa, and um, there's a big lineup of uh, buses here. Let's go, let's go, let's move it, move it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, now we're heading off down to oh, the 176 is going to stop, so we're going to stop as well. I'm still stuck at down the station. <laughs> let's go, okay, here we go. Now we're off. Now we are off to the next station, to Camp, to Laurier Station. There's another double-decker bus. It's hard to say double-decker bus fast, but it's fun to say. So, uh, to the left of the tall building on the left is the um, Ministry of National Defense, National Defense Headquarters, and then Oh, here is the entrance to the tunnel, the, the light rail tunnel going downtown. They are still digging it. it. The end of that entranceway has not changed in a year. I don't know how far they have gotten in the digging. Um, it's taking a while. Well, it, the light rail is supposed to, uh, it's all start, supposed to start going in three years. In 2018. So... I don't know if that's because it's going to take that long to dig the stupid tunnel or whatever. Okay. You know what would have solved a lot of problems? If they would have just updated the transit way, renovated the stations a little bit, and just dug the tunnel to go under downtown and put the buses in the tunnel, because the congestion for the buses comes through the downtown core when the buses get stuck with with the regular traffic, with the car traffic downtown. They would have just built the tunnel for the buses and they would have saved a lot of money. They wouldn't have had to rip apart the, the transit way, redirect all the buses 
buy the train, buy all the facilities for the trains and everything, and would have saved a lot of time and money if they just would have updated the transitway and built the tunnel for the buses to go under. It would have saved the time that the buses get congested downtown. So, that's us by all oh, there's the stupid 176. We're going to be behind this for the whole trip, aren't we? I think we are. So, um, so that's all I'm going to say about the, um, about the light rail for now. So, uh, so now we're heading to the Rito Center, which was under major renovations a year ago. Now you can see that Nordstrom has moved in. They have finished the renovations there, and they have all their fancy siding up, and all the the boarding and the scaffolding is taken away. So there's room on the sidewalk again. Uh, they're uh, just about finished the renovations inside. There's still a little bit to do, but the main work now is on the uh, is on the additions, on the addition that they're building on the east section, the east side of the Rito Center on Rito Street. That's where the main work is now, main construction is, uh, which they were also doing on building last, started building last year, so they're still working on it, so we'll see. Okay, so here we go, and we're stopping in front of the 176 again. I'm starting to hate this 176 bus. Go, let's move it, move it, move it, people. Let's get out of here. Come on. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, coming up is the main entrance to the Rito Center and the Kensington King Bridge entrance. It is now finished and done. Last year was a big mess, all boarded up. Couldn't tell what it was. Now it's there again. Back. Looking good. Here's the uh, Rito Canal. For summer, getting ready for summer, all ready for summer. So the Lord Elegant to our left, straight ahead, the the new finance building that they were still working on last year. And they, and they did name it after Jim Flaherty, the finance minister who died. So I was right about that. And it's uh, they, it's they're still uh, empty spaces in there, so not it's not fully people. It's not fully occupied yet. There's still uh, there's still a little bit of work to be done inside. There's the War Memorial down down there on Elegant Street. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's it's looking good. They have the Tim Hortons in there, and um, I'm not sure what that is, what store that is, but it's, but there are workers, people are working in there, and yeah, and, uh, but there are still a lot of empty floors. And we are at uh, Metcalf Station. Exchange Center. Plaza, I'm sorry. Last year they had the scaffolding up here on the side of the Royal Exchange Plaza. And they had it a lot, uh, and they did a lot of work uh, renovating on the, the side here. Through, you know, up until the winter, they finally took down the scaffolding just in the winter. So, there's the Bell Canada building. Still looking the same. And here we're coming to the famous Bank Street. I think that's what last year. And there's the, uh, the old cafe, restaurant, cafe, restaurant, I did not cafe, cafe, no, it's called the Sushi Khan, and the KTV and bar, which I think is karaoke. KTV is Japanese for karaoke, I don't, I don't, I don't, I karaoke. that lowers the diggers into the, to the ground for the tunnel, for the light rail tunnel. It's still there because they have to take off, well, when the, when the front of the digger, the, 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 the part that does the digging starts to wear out, they have to take it off in front of the machine and um, put uh, a, a new one on it so they 
lower than it went down there using that uh, contraption and attach it to the machine and then they start digging again. So there's the Delta Hotel. There's the Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Last year they had some fencing up here. I thought they were going to do a construction, but it's still the parking lot. I thought they were going to put a condominium up, so it's nice to still see an old building there and a parking lot. I'm sure it's not going to stay empty too long. Here comes the uh, Albert at Bay uh, Hotel and Suites. You can see they're advertising really, really big suites. taking the lead of the 176, I guess it's there to guide us. Being sarcastic, I'm sorry, I'm just fed up with the 176. So that quickie is still uh, still there. It's only been a year, so it's Can you believe it we're not following the 176? The gentleman sitting beside me has kind of restricted me from getting too much of what's on the left because of the, the window ends. Um, but that's okay. It's just old houses and apartment buildings. But I, I think you saw them last year. So we're coming up to Bronson Avenue. Which will bring us into uh, the Brighton Flats. Federal, Canadian federal government buildings, and Quebec side, those tall buildings. This used to be Le Breton Station. They have now, they have taken Le Breton Station away. This used to be Booth Street, that went to the Booth Street Bridge. Booth Street is now gone here. There's no more Booth Street in this part. It ends up there. Um, that's because it's for the, to build, the, for the, the train, the train tracks, whatever. So this is the new Le Breton station right here. This, the, this was just changed about two months ago. So this this is a new road that they put in uh, and it brings the cars and the buses that go to get back over to the Booth Street Bridge. So it's a little detour for their building of the light rail. So this, the light rail is going to continue here, up here. Um, now I got off. I got off. Started getting off the bus at this time last year, but I thought I would, since I probably won't see this again on a bus. I thought you would show you this. We're heading to Bayview Station, and this is a layout where the layout for uh, the bus is not in service. That are going to start or a route or a vented route. Um, and, uh, the Bayview Station here is where the O train called the Trillium line now, then the kids here we are going to get off the bus. Did that girl smile at me? No, she, no, she was just, uh, she was just laughing on the phone, on her phone. Why is that guy looking at me? Do I know him? He doesn't look familiar to me. Maybe, maybe I knew him somewhere. Maybe there's something in my teeth. There's something wrong with my hair, I don't know. Why are you looking at me like that? 
maybe, maybe he thought I was somebody he knew. Who knows? <laughs> I was probably something in my teeth, but I wasn't smiling, so how would he know that? Hmm. Okay, okay. So we're heading now to Turnies Pasture Station. lost the 176 right before I get off the bus, of course. <laughs> okay, here we are, Attorney's Pasture. Okay. Are we gonna stop? There we go. Stairs and go across back to the other side uh, to get the bus going back east since I'm not going uh, to Canada. And one day we'll go to Canada and take a tour. That'll be a long video though because it takes a long time to get to Canada, especially on the bus. So here at Turney's Pasture Station is where the light rail is going to end. So this is where people are, if people are going to keep going, have to keep going west they're on the train, they have to get off, they'll get off the train here, transfer it to a bus, and keep going west, because there'll be no button, there'll be no transit way between Blair Station and Journey's Pasture. So same thing at Blair Station. If you're coming from the east, you have to get off the bus at Blair Station, transfer the train to Blair Station, take the train, uh, take be on the train. If you keep if you go going further than Journey's Pasture, you have to get off the train here and get back on a bus, and it's just gonna cause delays, which they're saying, and I'm sorry I'm going on and on about that old rating again. Anyways, thanks for joining me, and I hope uh, we can do this again next year, and uh, we'll see how different it is. Have a great summer.